Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and yet again another reaction video. So I completely forgot that The Sims is going to be announcing something today. I think this is going to be the rental pack that we're getting. So we're just sitting here kind of waiting for the countdown to go down. I know that they posted a preview but I was so busy with the Drew White Valley news yesterday that I didn't have a chance to even look at the preview for the sims 4 expansion pack so yeah we're just gonna be sitting here watching the trailer and reacting hey it's starting so what's this pack all about i want to know sims 4 for rent it looks like a new city world okay so property owner tenant Okay, so it looks like we can have tenants now, which is quite cool. Snooper. I wonder what that thing does. New cooking appliances, new recipes, it seems. What the hell? What's happened? I don't get the time. I'm very confused by all of this, I'm not gonna lie. Do we have fish markets now? That's quite interesting. Cupcake stall. So like focusing on stalls a bit more. We could break in. <gasps> Wait, we can break in and steal stuff. That's cool. Really weird type of toilet. Mold. Oh, gross. We have mold now. Ew, someone can get sick from the mold. That's quite cool. Wait, what? Was that like a bet placement? I like this new uh, game as well. That's quite cool. Okay, so it looks like you can basically make your own apartments, I think. So buy by January 18th. And it's coming out on December 7th. That's amazing. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. I'm going to quickly, you know, refresh and we'll take a deep dive into the trailer and slow it down a bit, I think. As you can see, we've got a new world. It looks like there's a lot of like canals and stuff, a lot of boats. I think that's quite cool looking. It appears we can kind of make our own apartments, I think. If that's the case, then that is going to be game changing. We've got this new like, you didn't see it, but it was like a new like sort of Chinatown area, which I really like. This is definitely like a, a city sort of area. There's new clothes, like these earrings I love, the hairstyle. Uh, I like what he's wearing too. Is this a new greeting possibly? And then we have this dragon right here i'm assuming that they can like pay their respects oh i totally missed out on this i didn't realize that they were bringing hopscotch into the game that's really cool so more things for kids to do is she pretending to be a police officer or can we be an undercover police officer i don't know i can't it's kind of hard to tell which parts are real and which parts are just made for the trailer sometimes so we'll find out more okay so it does seem that we can make pretty much our own apartments or hotels or whatever and i'm assuming we can have sims so this is rokaya rockside or rokoya i think so this is the property owner which is pretty cool and then we can have tenants now so we can have multiple people living in the same area so we can basically make our own apartments which is pretty cool yeah so we can have like a shared house sort of situation without having to uh control all the sims which obviously i don't mind controlling the sims but sometimes i just like them to do their own thing this is a new kitchen appliance it seems this kind of looks like an air fryer but i could be wrong let me go back this just looks like another kettle so it's one that you boil instead of like the uh like an electric kettle that we have in the uk rather than the ones that we have that are just there without the electricity so we've got new foods here that looks like a new hair by the looks of it i do like that hair and there's a kettle there's the i'm i'm just gonna call this an air fryer for now it might not be an air fryer but we'll see okay so she's knocking not sure what's happening here 
I'm assuming she's gone to visit someone in the house. I guess the electricity can have issues or something if too many people's using the electricity. I think that's what that was hinting at. So, because he was using the stereo and stuff. This area is very beautiful. I like the whole like lantern, like Chinatown type feel. It looks gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be taking my Simmons here for like dates and stuff. So yeah, I really like the look of this. And there's obviously going to be more stalls added. So it looks like we're getting a fish market and it looks like another cupcake stall although it could be something different i'm not sure some of these clothes are really interesting and i like the hairstyles too apparently we can spy on people which is funny i think i'll be using that a lot this is the thing that really sold me was the fact that we can break into houses now or break into rooms and steal stuff also it looks like we're getting like a new type of toilet and also our houses can get moldy now and if left too long sims can now get sick from the mold which is pretty crazy i just feel like that's a another cool sort of uh, add-on that they've added <laughs> like a new sort of death it wouldn't be the sims without a new new death i like how he's growing mushrooms out of him this is really cool i think uh bribing not bribing um uh, making bets is now a thing uh, yet again another new kids game I can't actually remember the name of it, but it looks cool. But the fact that you can basically run a hotel is amazing. Yep, that's pretty cool. So that'll be coming on the 7th of December, it looks like. So I've got to save up my money for two expansion packs now. Or I might wait for this one to go on sale. Or I might even wait for someone to buy it for me. So yeah, let me go back real quick because there was like a early thing. So Sims Hall for rent, bye by 18th of January to get the Street Eats digital content. So if we do that, we get the Quick Treats Grill, which looks freaking dope. We get the Street Side Star Shade, so this umbrella, and we get a Peak Freshness Fruit Basket. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't say it's worth it though. I mean, this is the only item I am interested in. Everything else, not really. So yeah, that was pretty much my reaction. Will I be getting the pack? I, I will be getting the pack. I, I, I do get all the Sims packs. I kind of chilled out on buying packs upon release and I just get them when they're either on sale or when I have the money to do so. I'm not in as much as a rush with the Sims as I was before, unless it's a pack that I really, really want. So still kind of on the fence about this pack. I kind of want to learn more about it because um, obviously the, the trailer doesn't totally show everything. It shows pieces of the pack, but hopefully we can see they usually come out with a gameplay trailer, I think, and hopefully they can come out with that and we can learn more about this pack and what it has to offer but yeah that's gonna be everything thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one